Ready, set, recording. Hi, how are you? Hi, great to be here, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, you are incredible. Swearing, you talk about swearing. What? Remember we could talk about swearing yeah, if you wanted, long. but... We could talk about this shit. Here's, <laughs> I could give you an argument, but I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. Like, you are so passionate and seems like you love our Lord. And that's a really good um, I do. A really I do. Trait. On the swearing thing, uh, yeah, yeah. obviously, Lord's name in vain. That's objective. That's real. You don't want to defile the sacred. Uh, but I have found with certain college students on certain occasions, <laughs> that can kick the door open. That their, their eyes go up. They're like, oh, this dude's normal. Mm. Right? So, so yeah, I, I, I kind of joke. It, certain, you know, cuss with a purpose at the very least. Yeah. No, I mean, no, I don't think anybody <laughs> likes swearing more than me, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, <laughs> he, here's a good argument. Have you heard it yet? Okay, so here's the argument against swearing. And I'm going to keep this open so that... Oh, gosh. Or else I'll buy you another flight. Um, here's the argument. When you observe humans, you see that there are certain activities in which they engage that are similar to the beasts or are exactly the same as the beasts, like eating, defecating, copulating. But when you watch humans, you see that they set up rituals around those things to elevate them. So if you knew that I, a parent say, let their kids, you know, just crap in the backyard while people are around and stuff, yeah. you'd be like, well, that's weird. Like, unless you, unless there's a good reason like that, you probably shouldn't do that. Um, if you hear of somebody who like has sex in public, you think that's beastly. Um, and then eating, like there's, we have table manners, even if it's not identical, there's some sort of decorum, depending on the food. Okay. So the idea is we do in sort of a, a ritualized manner, uh, we, you know, we use these sort of rituals. We, we have sex in private. Uh, we, we might light a candle or something to elevate what is beastly because we're also kind of incarnate spirits, right? Um, if you were to start crapping in public, having sex in public, burping and farting while you sure. eat, this kind of lowers man. Yeah. The argument is when you use foul language, like shit, piss, ass, all that, you're doing verbally the same thing. You're tearing down what we have sought to raise up through ritual. Now, don't agree with that too quickly because yeah. it you know, looks good to agree that swearing is bad. <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, that's not a fully fleshed out argument. Yeah. But it's, well, I, no, I think that's uh, the Leon Cass, if you, the, the hungry soul, he's got a great book that moves from nature to ethics and he has a whole chapter on freedom, friendship and philosophy. And the, the, the dining with people communally is very human. All right. And to, and, and, and to just kind of scarf down food by yourself. I do it all the time. Yeah. But there's something kind of not living the fully human life there. Yeah. So, no, no, I think that's basically right. But if you think about. So I think that's totally true of cussing like, you know, the constant F bomb is like every other sentence. It's like because it, it kind of it kind of loses its meaning. It just becomes like part of the, you know color on the, on the wall. Yeah, it's just yeah. kind of window dressing. I, I think it could have a place. Uh, it's like exclamatory speech, right? So what's the context? Is it, yeah. is it, a, you know, I mean, is someone about to punch your wife, right? Well, now it's appropriate, right? Yeah. So, so I, I, I kind of joke with students. I'm like, one, don't use the Lord's name in vain. Two, cuss with a purpose. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look, I want to agree with you, but I just feel like those words have meanings. Now, I understand that when people say F yeah. or yeah. shit, they may not be referring to like, like poo or right, right. like the sexual act, right, right. but those words still mean that. So in a hundred years from now, maybe the F-bomb won't have any relation yeah, to so the sexual act, but it does now. you're defiling the sacred, I think there's something there. So I, I'd say kind of layers. One, the Lord's name of vain, that's objective. That's, yeah, that's, so that's blasphemy. Kind of defiling then, the sacred. Mm -hmm. So F-bomb, the, the sexual act, the marital act, uh, I, I think that maybe is, is like a one degree below in terms of objectivity. But but at the end of the day, words are conventional signs, right? So like mm -hmm. the word gay or mm -hmm. queer. You read queer, for example, like, read the Chronicles of Narnia and he uses queer all over the place. He yeah. just means strange. Yeah. So words can change their meanings because... Right, but F and shit and all that, they don't, they haven't changed yet. Yet. No, but um, they're not natural signs like smoke as a sign of fire, right? So they're, they're, they're not as tightly connected to nature. They're still, they're still, their meaning is still derived from a community okay. at the end of the day. Um, so I think because of that, you can't say that certain like symbols or sounds have like an intrinsically evil meaning. No. That only happens in light of its meaning. What they reference. Context or yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think, I think blast, you know, blast, words name of vain, blasphemy, defy on the sacred. Um, but I think a, a, after that, I mean, the, the, there's, if someone is about to like, like um, 
do something really bad, you're like, hey, stop it. Like, that's not a, I mean, like, we need a little bit more up here, that right? And be, so, yeah. I, at, at the very least, um, I don't have a problem with it in the right yeah. context. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't either. I just yeah. thought that was a good argument. You know what else yeah. is interesting? I cannot think of a swear word that doesn't surround the toilet, the bedroom, or religion. Try. Hmm. And I heard someone say, what? Maybe, well, I, uh, ass if I can go with the gym. No, I mean, that's, right? but that's, both, that's both bathroom and the sexual act. <laughs> well, donkey, right? Yeah. Well, I guess that's true. But I think when people say ass, don't I they? Know. Yeah, this is what's, what's weird in I'm Australia. Trying. When we say ass in Australia, it's A-R-S-E. That's how we spell Oh, it. is that right? So you're like, oh, you that's asshole. Like, you know, like we don't say ass. Braveheart, right? I don't know. What is it? Did you say arse? Like, I hope so. Arse. It sounds like <laughs> something. What about bitch? Bitch. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, you're right. Bitch probably doesn't have to do with either of those three things. Yeah, good job. Yeah. All right. But it is fascinating. And and I yeah. heard someone point out that it might be because those are the three places we're most vulnerable in the bedroom, on the toilet and in religion. And yeah. so we use language to sort of, it has that kind of vulgarizing effect. Yeah. No, I, I mean. Cool, dude. Thanks. Good work. All right. God bless. God bless you.